Okay, part 18, who the fuck did I marry? So he says to me, the way you're acting is real suspect because I told you it was fine. I took care of it. He was like, I ain't even worried about it. He was like, obviously that nigga didn't know that you now married, that you've moved on. And so now he knows it. But for me, it was the fact that I don't do dry, I don't do pop-ups. Don't come to my house unannounced. So if someone has done that, for me, it it automatically feels like a violation and it feels like it needs to be addressed. So it was not as simple as I already took care of it. It's fine. Let it go. No, nah, we ain't letting nothing go because you don't have my permission to show up to my house. And before this turns into something where I'm going to be on Fox 5 News, I need to address that with you because that is not okay. So he didn't like the reaction I had to the story he told me where someone basically disrespected my home. And he felt like my reaction was really suspect. So um, what I'm going to get into the little details that he did not know about. So he tells me again, it was a black charger, a black Dodge charger. They backed into the driveway. A gentleman got out of the car and he asked for me by name and Legion said, she's not here. So, um, I asked him, what does the guy look like? And he said, he was like, why does it matter? I said, what the fuck does he look like? So Legion proceeds to give me the most generic description you can give. He was like, well, um, he was shorter than me. Ex-husband is about six three, six four. He was shorter than me. Um, he was brown skinned. I said, did he, have, did he have a hat on his head? Mind you, I understand that before marriage, I was a damn fool. I understand that. But every woman has that moment where you only gonna fool her but for so long. And eventually stuff puzzles start coming together. For me, I felt like moving into marriage, certain things started coming together. So I said to him, um, did he have a hat on his head? He was like, nah, he ain't wear a hat. So in my mind, I am mentally going down a list of every possible man it could be. Um, And it was only like four men. I had been in that house about three or four years at this point. So I knew all of the people. And I'm talking about from maintenance down to ex-boyfriends. It was a total of like four men. So when he said that um, it was a black charger, I immediately was like, okay, I know that crosses out one. He said he was shorter than him. All of them were shorter than him. I said, did he have a hat on his head? He said, no, that crossed out one because one in particular was a maintenance guy who always wore a hat on his head because he had like a bruise or something and he he was just self-conscious about it. So he always wore a hat. That leaves two. So I said, was he muscular or was he skinny? So Legion's getting all frustrated. I said, just answer the question. He was like, well, he was kind of in between. And I said, okay, um... He was in between. I said, so was he light skin or was he dark skin? He was like, I told you he was brown skin. I said, was he my complexion? He said, no, he was he was brown skin. That eliminates one. So now there's one left. And yes, the one left would have been the ex that I had dated for two years. And so he was like, I know that I, I know it was your ex. I know it was your ex. And I was like, that don't make no sense because the ex that I... In my mind, I'm saying this, the ex that I had dated, he and I had no contact with each other and he was not the type to just pop up at your house. That ain't his style. Not to mention, and I ain't tell Legion this, that man would not be caught dead driving a Dodge Charger. He hated Chargers because he drove it as a patrol car. So I didn't say anything. I just was like, that's, that's weird. So what Legion didn't know is that at the time I had a security system. So I had a security system where um, anytime the front door, the garage door or the back door was open, 
basically any entry point. Anytime it was open or closed, it would send me a text message notification. So when he's telling me all this, I'm looking at my phone and I see a notification where the front door was opened and it was shut all within the same minute. So for example, if it says front door open at 1 p.m., front door closed at 1 p.m. So whatever he did was within those 60 seconds. He's telling me the story of the guy got out the car. Um, he opened the door. He went out there. Can I help you? And the guy said, um, I'm looking for. And Legion said, no, nah, she's not here. And so the, the, he said the guy kind of was like, OK. And he was like, all right, thank you. And got in the car and drove off. Legion has also told me that he watched him drive off, drive out of the neighborhood, which means because of the way the house was set up, the townhouse, he would have still been outside watching this. I could be wrong, but something in me was like, that would take more than 60 seconds. So for the door to have been open and shut within the same 60 seconds, I was like, hmm. Okay, so also what he didn't know, we didn't have a ring door camera, but my neighbor did. And her ring door camera caught my driveway. It, it, the view of the camera could see my driveway as well as her driveway. Um, and so who, whoever was coming in the door, our driveways were right next to each other. And then on the, either, on the other side of it was the grass. So it was a, per, it was a perfect view of my driveway. So... So she, um, I had texted her and I said, Hey, were you home? Um, I think I texted her the next day. Cause I said, were you home on Saturday? Da, 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 da. And she said, um, no, I wasn't. What's up? You know, everything good. And I said, um, can you look at your security system and see if there was a car that came to my house, um, at such and such time? And I know I, I did not tell her the reason I was asking, but I was like, is there any way that your security camera caught? if someone came to my house, um, at this time on Saturday, she's like, yeah, sure. I'll look. And so maybe about a couple of hours later, she texted me back and said, Hey, I looked at the camera, but I didn't see anything. And I said, okay, by any chance, did it catch if someone maybe walked up the driveway? Like maybe it wasn't a car in the driveway, but someone walked up. She said, I didn't see anything with your driveway yesterday. So I said, okay. Um, and I, and I knew, I knew that something in me again, um, was like, nobody came to the house. So now here we are, um, a month and a half married. And now is when I'm like, the fuck did he make that up because no one came to the house no black charger came to the house pulled back into the driveway nobody got out the car and asked for me nobody was looking for me so now I'm, I was sitting in the bedroom thinking through all this and I'm like fuck did he make that up because that's what happened i'm looking at the text messages on my phone where he's telling me someone just came to the house looking for you but no one came so what was the purpose of that and then i re and then something said to me something in me said he wanted to see your reaction he he just wanted to see the reaction you had been too calm, and so he wanted to see a reaction. So this man gaslit me like I was Georgia natural gas just to get a reaction. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 20 of Who the Fuck Did I Marry?